The PYA Meteorology up there in the Northern Territory has issued a severe weather warning for heavy rainfall for people in the Arnhem districts. The monsoon trough is currently located near the Northern Arnhem case. Welcome to another update from Force 13 in this one we look at tropical cyclone Wallace in a developing a tropical low it's embedded within the monsoon trough near 11 decimal 9 degrees south 133 decimal 5 degrees east tropical low is moving west and expected to move into the Timor Sea Sunday night or early Monday here is force so more likely to the east southeast of the system and here's the Bureau's warning chart. As the low moves across the northern top end coast, moderate to heavy rainfall may lead to flash flooding possible over the Arnhem district Sunday. 24 hour rainfall totals of 50 to 100 millimetres expected, with isolated falls up to 150 millimetres possible. Now here's a look at the Bureau Meteorology's GOV radar. This is just an example of what is taking place. And over 105 millimetres has been recorded. Tropical Cyclone Wallace is currently over open waters well north west of the Kimberley case and is moving away towards the west southwest. There are no warnings in place, and here's the Bureau's latest track chart. The picture has changed, there's a category one or tropical storm on the other scale and the Bureau is forecasting a Category 3 later next week. And in Category 1, as mentioned, sustained winds near the centre at 85 km per hour with wind gusts to 120 km per hour. And it's located 75 kilometres to 13 degrees south, 122 decimal 4 degrees east, 480 kilometres west northwest of Canterbury, 380 kilometres north of Cape Leviki. And it's currently tracking west southwest at 19 kilometres an hour. Wallace is expected to continue its west southwest track. While the most likely track keeps the system well off the WA case, there remains a risk that the cyclone could approach the West Pilbara case towards the middle or late next week. Now we have a look at a couple of uh, tracks and models on the right hand side of the screen and the individual colours represent the various models. The late cycle track guidance. And another late cycle intensity guidance. The Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has tropical cyclone Wallace near 13 decimal 1 degrees south, 121 decimal 9 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 45 knots, gusting 55 knots. And it's about 709 nautical miles northeast of Learmonth. Tracking west at 14 knots over the last six hours. Animated enhanced infrared satellite imagery 
depicts flaring deep convection displaced over the western semicircle due to moderate to strong 20 to 25 knots easterly vertical wind shear. The initial position is based with low confidence on the low level circulation center obscured by the central dense overcast in the infrared loop. 89 gigahertz microwave image supports the position and reveals a ragged low level circulation center disorganized convection shear to the rest. The initial intensity remains assessed at 45 knots based on VORAC estimates of T3, 45 knots from all agencies. The tropical cyclone is forecast to track west-southwest through the next 36 hours under the steering influence of a deep layered subtropical ridge position over Western Australia. Nubical model guidance is in good agreement through this phase of the forecast with 110 nautical mile spread in solutions at the 36 hour mark. Tropical cyclone at 23 or Wallace should slowly intensify to a peak of 60 knots by the 36 hour mark as vertical wind shear gradually decreases supported by robust poleward outflow warm sea surface temperatures 29 30 degrees celsius now we have a look at the uh, latest wind shear the red's unfavorable the green is uh, favorable Upper level divergence remains very healthy and we have a update to the tropical low, the 24 hour shear tendency, the tropical low in the Gulf of Carpentaria's northern region is now invest 98S, the A50 millibar vorticity And the GFS precipitation model and the precipitation scale is at the bottom of the screen. And this time next week we'll have uh, two tropical systems still on the radar. Not sure what uh, tropical low 98S whether it will reach tropical cyclone status the name to be. However the tropical cyclone formation probability guide and there's nothing going on up in the Westpac at this point in time and finally in this particular update we have a look at the HW HWRF parent model, apology for that. And the HWRF. We will continue to bring the uh, latest information from uh, Wallace and the developing uh, tropical low to the north of Australia in the RFUC region. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 All In Text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. 
You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also add force13 on Skype and fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat. <laughs>